Oh, baby. TC first. By Lin. <sighs> Extremely strong if he gets the levels. If he gets level 4 and onward, extremely, extremely powerful. But a little bit later, earlier on. It seemed like in the match that I was talking about before, the best of 5 against Lolite and so on, which you should really, really check out on our YouTube if you haven't seen it. Um, at the beginning, Lin was playing Blade Master normal. Um, but it was the solo or the TC first by Soen, which caused so many problems that after a while, it seemed like Lin was accepting that TC first was the way to go. And now, in this match as well, I'm going for the TC first. I love it. Absolutely love it. Keep it first by Shishi. Gonna be harassing here himself. With Entangle, I imagine. With only the Keeper here and nothing else. Oh, Trius! Really? Okay. But I mean, uh, doesn't Entangle equate to more damage than Treants? Mm, I guess he can distract a little, he can f force some attacks on them. He's slowing down this creeping, certainly. Oh, what is this? Hewn. Are you Michael or what is going on here? Sacrificial Skull early. Takes that camp. Quick level 2. Nice start for shoot. DK and TC creeping together is safe, but it's very slow progress. Having to split experience two ways, of course. Whereas the DK over here, look at him. He's having a grand old time. Going for the next creep now at the gold mine. With the third fiend coming in, should be easy to creep. Keeper still harassing, still annoying. But without entangle, he really can't find any kills. Solo creep now from the TC here. It's the DK actually trying to deal with the treants somewhat. TC finds the crystal ball. Where did he reveal? Reveal at the Merc camp. Is he gonna keep this crystal ball? I think he should. Just for value against the fiends, against Burrow, this should be worth it. Or against some Nidal units, maybe. By the way, what units are we going for here on Shishi's side? Quick tech, Hunter's Hall, yet still archers. Players forces are under attack. And lures. So, she wasn't seat. feeling comfortable. Whoa! Enough to skip archers entirely. We'll be going for some. Oh, is there a double surround? <sighs> no speed scroll? Ah, there is a speed scroll. Surprised they weren't uh, trying to use it. Easy last hits for the DK. Level 3 Death Knight. Find the Lionhorn, by the way, which is amazing. Howl of Terror. Okay, this trading game should easily go in favor of the Chinese. Well, Shishi and Shun. They have Howl, they have Devotion, and they have level 3 DK. I don't think this is a good call by Nubi to fight this, but uh, they're trying. Let's see. Block against the Fiend, nicely done, but level 2 Coil easily repairs all the damage. 5 Fiends by 1 to 0. Did he delay his tech? I think he did. Not too much mana left on Shun though. TC. Only one stomp as well. Heavy on the grunts. Five grunts. Tier 2 is done. Shadowhunter coming in. Ah, he's not playing TC solo unfortunately. And now not having Entangle on the Keeper really hurts. I don't know about this tree in first choice, to be honest. Feels kind of wrong. Stomp. Trying to surround the DK. Yeah, that's definitely a surround. He's pretty tanky though. Howl plus armor from the aura. Devotion aura now on the keeper. 
And look how easy this is to micro now for 1 to 0 because there's no entangle. And he knows that there isn't. Oof, I was about to say, does he really lose the fiend? No. June is on tier 2, going to Slaughterhouse, normal, Lich, 1 to 0 with uh, the same, but a tier 3 coming in. No Lich just yet. TC needs level 3 really, really badly, and he's gonna get that here. Item is the Flute of Accuracy, hello! So, Aura here as well. Arguably though, the Devotion Aura is better, because it works on every unit. Whereas the flute, of course, is only for ranged. Expansion coming up. Oh, but nice scout. Crystal Ball sees this. Question is, are newbie now going to try to counter expand? Or cancel this? Or kill it? Scourge Bone Chimes. Is pretty nice for the grunts. But honestly, it's not that good. Like, they will be dying quickly regardless. Most likely. A player's forces are under attack. Big heal pot for the TC. Very nice. Everything to keep the frontliner alive is welcome. Even gonna pick up the gauntlets? Uh, on the shadow. Red camp's not yet taken. And we know. A possible scroll of restoration. One of the most insane items in the game can be found the here. Forces are under attack. We'll be coming in, trying to kill the tree. Too late for the cancel, but the damage could very well be good enough to just kill it. Shishi and Shuna doesn't look like they want to defend. Just satisfied to keep creeping for now, as it seems. Is he gonna go Howl of Terror on the Pit Lord, by the way? Like, Cleave could be good in theory, but normally frontline damage dealers just always get focused and killed. Item <laughs> Talisman of the Wild. Well, they have some value. There's not too much to spell yet, but uh, yeah, not certainly not what he was hoping for. Expo coming up for Lin. We have no tier 3, unfortunately. I'm a big fan of Orc tier 3. But I won't see it here. Lich, zero experience. My goodness. DK also not close to level 4 at all. But there are some camps left here in the north. I wonder who they want to give it to. Shadow level 3 would be a really, really big upgrade. So I think that should be a priority. And yeah, actually with these three camps here, there's still a good experience left on Newbie's side of the map. Not so much for Shishi and Shun though, to be honest. One to zero. Not saving supply for third hero, hero Crypt Lord. Stomp plus Impale could be insane though, couldn't it? Like that's basically Players a chain stun. He's gonna soak up some more experience here as well. Level 4 is really, really good for the improved aura. Where they get Stone Token. Okay. No. Scroll of Restoration, but Stone Token is really good. Speak. Speaking of ch uh, Chain Stun. Stone Token, TC, Hex, Impale. Oh my god. Hard to coordinate, but really, really powerful if they do it well. Forces are under attack. And the expansion is done. Seems like time is running in favor of newbie. Why is there so many wisps here? Interesting. Oh, tier 3, by the way. We have reached tier 3 on Shishi's side. There is a single mountain giant. And he went He bought a Furbolg Shaman. He's the guy with Riju, right? Does he have anything else? Do you know? Chat? Hello, in game music. Only Riju. Roar? 
Oh, Roar could be sick. Alright, we're not quite sure what he has. We'll see. Dude, Roar would be insane. Roar on those fiends. Oh, yeah. A player's forces are under attack. One to zero. Still creeping up, but there we go. We're gonna have the big attack towards the Orc expansion. There are TPs to come in for the defense. Two heal scrolls for newbie. Level three shadow. TC basically level four. Right, Shaman, what spells do you have? It's the only thing I'm watching in this fight. Look at this attack range. That looked like more than 600. Aggressive TP by 1 to 0. Really aggressive. Whereas Lin's army is still mostly busy there in the back. Big Impale coming in. Oh my goodness. Focusing heavy on the TC, but he's got so many potions, man. I don't think that's going to quite work out for you. MGs are tank tanking very, very well. Lich in trouble. In deep trouble. Heal scroll coming in. But the cards are ready. No invul on the Lich. Still seems to be working out. MGs are tanking in the back, but are not putting in any real amount of damage, as it seems. DC has the mana potion still available. There would be two more stomps. Looking for the next one. Walking forward. He got the Reju. How did he get the Reju? Do they have a Shaman as well? I don't know, guys. There's so much stuff going on. Uh, Pitloid died, by the way. On level 3. And that's it. GG. I'm not gonna lie. I was overwhelmed in that fight. That was... Too much stuff. So it seemed like he doesn't have Roar, by the way. Oh. That would have been good, but no. Only read you, as it seems. And the TC first, man. I love it. TC first, so strong. If you do get to the late game, Blade Master is just kind of mediocre in the 2v2. Whereas the TC, very, very strong. TC, Shadow, I think that's the way to go. I said this in the last 2v2 tournament already. I guess you can't do it on every map. Um, when it's hard to creep and stuff. Next map, again, Goldshire. Seems like these players are very fond of this map as well. Our map pool, by the way, is Lost Temple, Twisted, Total Rock, Tidewater Glades, and Goldshire. Farseer can be good too. I'd say he can be decent too. I'm, I'm not going to put him in the good tier. I mean, we did see a level 6 Farseer, level 7 Farseer earlier with Earthquake. That was pretty cool. But, you know. What's going to be better, level 7 Farseer or level 7 TC? You know, then again, like, TC level 7 might be the best hero in the game in 2v2. Isn't that insane? Isn't that insane? That his passive ultimate outclasses other active ultimates. Like, which big, which big ones do we have? Metamorphosis, really good. But what if you use it and then they just TP, TP away? I, I'm not sure. I would have to think about that more. But TC high level is extremely, extremely strong. Farseer is good for aggressive strategies. Yes, I absolutely agree with that. But uh, I'm talking about late game prowess here. And of course the way most heroes are designed, they're either very good early or very good late. So, oh, I have 
haven't updated the score. 1 0 for 1 2 0 and Lin. They are the big favorites here. And yeah, our overlay doesn't like uh, colors that much. So. We're uh, unfortunately having to work with this here. How about a warden? Nah. No. Warden soaks up way too much experience and also like in 2v2 a warden isn't really good like her aoe is an aoe yes but it only hits what is it six units or something in 2v2 that doesn't really cover much of the army at all so anyways anyways what do, what do we have what do you think guys is this tc again what are we, what are we feeling what are we feeling TC again. There we go, boys. There we go. Fiend build by 120, most certainly with the DK. Keeper hunts, Fushishi, and Tune also with a Fiend build. So I think this should be a harder TC game, though, right? <clears throat> Shop coming up early here, I like that. So, TC, he can creep the green camp. And after that, with Fiend support, I think he could creep Gold Mine as well. Treant's early, Treant's level 1, I think was a big mistake. I think he should really, really be going and tangle. Tangle this time. Oh, the DK is kind of late. Might be able to get the fiend kill. Uh, not really. Just kidding. Ancients of War in the choke points here. That's pretty cool. In theory. But if newbie should decide to push it at one point. Both Ancient of War could die, and then there's no more production, so... It's kind of a double-edged sword. I guess Shishi and Shun have to be ready to defend. These positions. So far, though, the early game is kind of mirrored to our previous uh, map. Keeper harassing. Forces are under attack. Newbie creeping together. And... Shun having a great old time. Once again with a sacrificial skull over at the expo. And the DK again on uh, Keeper Watch. Speaking of watch, very nice vision here for Shishi and Shun. Look at the, look at all those little dots on the map. Pretty. I have a lot of information. But the TC the did finish that camp. Whoa! Attack. It's almost level 3 already. Turns out this map isn't that hard for him to creep. Of course, this was thanks to the DK sacrificing himself. <laughs> Still, like, basically no experience. This is starting to become an issue. This Death Knight will want to reach level 3 somewhat soon. Oh, last hit sealed by the Keeper, but not quite enough to prevent level 3. There we go. Scroll the Beast as well on the Torrent Chieftain. We have an expansion up here. Scroll by a Wisp, though. Are under attack. Three Fiends versus five Fiends. 1 to 0 doesn't even have the aura. This should be easily winnable. Oh, block coming in against the DK. Stomp as well. Not quite looking for the surround, or is he? No, he got it now. With the DK help. The TC is uh, finding that surround. It's gonna be traded for a fiend though, so pretty even trade. TP for a fiend. A player's forces are under attack. Can the expansion be cancelled? This is why this TP was so important, by the way, to force to buy time for the expo. 
Keeper by himself can't cancel the Great Hall. DK healing up one more time. Oh, this is feeling pretty all in all. A town is under siege. Ready. Never mind. Okay. For a second there, I thought this was uh, from the other team, but the that's of course impossible. These creeps I always felt weird. These are acolytes with ranged attacks. Fallen priests. Where in the campaign were there fallen priests? Were they anywhere? I mean, I guess they must have been? I don't know. Oh, TC looking for the big stomp! Hits two of the fiends, but... Oh, I saw the bees coming in now. More damage from the fiends, but not that many fiends, honestly. And the keeper is finding... Oh! That looked like the old entangle with that range. Another kill here on the fiend, perhaps. 1 to 0 being level 1 only is being pretty painful right now. Expansion is gonna finish, but this push coming in here from Shishi and Shun looks very hard to hold. Lich comes out on tier 2. Statue is soon as well. But fiend numbers very low enough for 1 to 0. 30 supply only. We have Shun at 40. Shishi at 40 as well. Where's Lin? There he is. This is like a 15 supply deficit for Team Newbie. Coil Nova coming in against the Wisp. They don't want to get drained too much. This TC will have to carry this fight. A player's forces are under attack. He's got 200 mana and a mana pot. It's like four stomps if he doesn't get burned by the Wisps. Statue will be a big upgrade as well. But what's Lin getting? He's pooling his forces in the main. No second hero. No Shadow Hunter. No mining here anymore. Great Hall may be taken out. And then we go. We're looking for the keeper kill right away. Doesn't get the surround. Okay, he does. Does get that surround, so now um, the team won't have to worry about. Entangle anymore, which is a big deal. Big Stomp coming in. Kodo gets the Devour off and gets saved with the Speed Scroll as well. Lin is carrying this fight the way he has to, as it seems, with the next Stomp. DK is healing these Fiends bit by bit, but is running quickly out of mana as well. 1 to 0. Still level 1 DK only. Hard for him to find those kills. And easy for him to, to lose his Fiends. TC ready with a Stomp one more time. Kodo, oh, in the wrong group. Level up for the DK, gets the aura now. That's a big deal. Everything a lot faster now. Good surround right there by Shishi, gets the statue taken out. TC still patiently holding on to his mana. Level 4 DK. For Shun. Damage prevented from the fiends here with the stomp, but TC now almost out of mana. Same for the DK, I guess. Gonna commit the stomp for only the single fiend kill but they do get that kill but more heroes are coming in keeper coming back lich coming in forces becoming a lot stronger here very soon for shishi and shun one to zero falling back towards the expansion still has a tp to get out if he has to tc clarity no money for a mana pot right now he needs mana potions absolutely entangle easy kill Looks like Shishi and Shun are finding the comeback here. And remember, behind this, there is an expansion running now. Fully running. 1 to 0. We'll have to TP out of this. There's no way out. Yeah. Given over to the Lich. Gets away. And this expansion now will be taken out. This base is forfeit. Another entangle. Another kill. This is looking like our first 1-1 of the day. A player's forces are under attack. Tier 3 is done for 1-2-0. Lich is level 2, but DK is still not level 3. TZ does have a mana pot. 
but uh, out of mana right now himself. And uh, yeah, Shishi and Shun, they did what they came to do. Killed the expansion, falling back now. If they can get a further experience lead by creeping more, this would be great. Creep, level, hold on to the expansion. And this should be their game. Hyun trying to snipe the Ogre Lord here before the enemy is coming in. And he's going to be able to do that. He will have to TP out of this. 12 plus 12, that's pretty nice. Loses one fiend. Oh, doesn't even lose the fiend. Slight mistake there by one to zero, not focusing his spells together on the right targets. But there's a lot of experience. There's no items here anymore, but a lot of experience for one to zero. Tackling two camps at the same time. TC very close to level four as well. Only grunts, one Kodo, one Raider. And may have to TP out of this one as well. No speed scroll here. Another TC though, with a stomp, could be perhaps able to cover the retreat. TP's out now. One of these does die though. Colonova focus quickly falls. DK still not level three after this. A player's what the forces hell? are under attack. New Great Hall coming, quickly scouted, easily cancelled if they do decide to do that. Ah, oh, the Shadow Meld. Nice play. Very annoying. Oh! Stomp reveals that? I didn't know. Is it the Renegade who has the item here? Yeah. Boots of Peltalas. Very unfortunate. They were hoping for an aura here, of course. So much experience now for Shishi and Shun. A thousand gold, by the way, on Shishi. Is he taking up behind this? He is tier 2 already. Oh. 1 to 0. Walked his way down here, by the way. I didn't even realize. Fighting with a level 2 DK only. He has the orb advantage though, but that's kind of the only advantage he has. Level 2 in the Crypt Lord with that statue kill him. Fire level 3 for the Death Knight. Last second coil. 1 to 0, always holding on to these as long as he can. And 1 to 0 is actually forcing the response from the Knight of Ally as well. So he TPs out, keeps most of his forces alive, and I guess bought a lot of time for this expansion. TC in the meantime, finding a few more kills. That's all solo experience. And there, you should never count out a level 5 TC, boys. We're very close to that now. Oh, Huntress drop. Huntress drop, boys. Or, I guess, Huntress evacuation. Why is there, why is there rocks here, by the way? That seems particularly random. New expansion coming up here. That one will be cancelled, though. Oh, the TC could still soak up this camp. This should definitely go to the TC. 1 to 0, go away. Go away. This is not yours. That's... That's a big mistake, honestly. Like, every little step you can get closer to level 5 TC, you have to... Try to do. There are a few more creeps over here. The town is under siege. Share of life cancelled. <laughs> Single fiend. Ready to deal with uh, harass. Potom second. Big ass army. Okay, Shishi and Hyun. They're mustering their forces. Shun with 58 supply, 2-1 fiends, plus a potum in the back. 65 supply night elf for Shishi. He doesn't have the strongest army, although, Town that being said, overseas. the upgrades are really good, actually. But he's got a lot, a lot of stuff. Oh! TC drop into the main! Zeppelin going for the Tree of Ages. 
And if that one falls, they can sacrifice the expansion over here. Oh, but there's units ready here. Seems like they do want to defend. TC gets the kill. TP's out. Oh, the Wisps could have detonated against the TC. And in we go, boys. Orc versus Nihilf in the north. And Admiral in the south. But it looks like uh, Shishi... Shun has the way superior numbers. We're gonna look here. I want to see that TC. If he gets level 5. But the Wisps. The Wisps being brought for the detonate. So important. TC does get level 5. We're gonna get burned right away. Mana pot now. And here's the stop. But that one wasn't even that good, to be honest. In the meantime, 1-2-0 is getting destroyed by Shun. Shun with more supply. 10 more. It's looking good for Shishi and Shun. And it was a perfect idea to try to separate the armies. If the TC can stand in front, stomp everything, Impale follow-up. Nubi are the strongest together. So Shishi and Shun separating like this. Very smart. Don't know exactly what's going on. Seems like we're ready again. Oh, there's a lot of your herd units up here. Ooh, the Zeppelin trying to save as much as he can. TP reposition. 1 to 0 coming in towards the expansion. Double heal scroll, by the way, as well. Good, but everything's hurt. Where's the TC? But the TC is here. He's got a single stomp. This has to be the biggest stomp in Warcraft history. But he can't get in. He's gonna get silenced. He has to stomp in uh, the front there. TC running away. He needs to get more mana pots, I think. Destroyers dying pretty quickly. The DK though in deep deep trouble now doesn't have a TP anymore to save himself. Oh my god Big impale from the Crypt Lord. The TC is back with a mana pot. The DK is dead by the way Getting silenced getting focused doesn't have an interval to break out of the silence anymore in the TC Oh, First stomp first stun from the Crypt Lord then stun from the TC, but he's dead and that must be it the other heroes are following. Cryptlord dies. Lich now left by himself. Entangle. Focus. He's dead. And that must be the game. Every hero's gone. But the newbie boys are staying in this. For now. But it's. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what your uh, hope is here. We got two bases now. Alright. Tavern revive. Lich and TC. That was very, very expensive. Ooh, that hurts me. He's got plus 12 agility, and he's putting it on the Lich instead of the Dark Ranger. Ay, 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 no. <laughs> I'm trying to get the hero kill up here. Don't quite get it. But the altar is gonna be taken out. DK doesn't come back. One Lich and one Fiend to defend the main. Oh, and one statue. Ouch, that Nova hurts. I wonder if they just want to get one hero kill. They must know that this is hopeless. Lich is kind of surrounded there, but uh, he's also getting healed a lot by this DK. Oh, last second. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Last chance of a hero kill. Nope. Doesn't work. TC level 3 stomp, but too far behind. Not even the TC level 3 stomp. 
could carry them here. GG. Finally, they admit it. And we have our first 1-1. One, one. So, Goldshire goes to Shishi and Shun. We're gonna have one more map, Twisted Meadows. We haven't seen Lost Temple once yet, have we? And we haven't seen Turtle Rock either. I don't mind Turtle Rock. Like, Turtle Rock, I think, is a. Honestly, a pretty bad 2v2 map. I don't think Turtle Rock should be in 2v2. I think it's too small. Um, but yeah, Lost Temple is kind of cool in 2v2. Perhaps we're going to be seeing it in the next match. Uh, because we have, after our next map, one more best of three. Shao Kai and Lenguagua versus Romantic and Shao KK will be our last match of the day. But... Right now, it is decision time. Twisted Meadows. What went wrong in that last game, by the way? Where did it go wrong? It's hard to tell, right? It's not like there was a massive mistake. I think the level, the DK being level one forever was a big problem. And that really was Goldshire, right? Like, if you want to get TC3 safely, there's going to be nothing left for the Death Knight. Yeah, I think that was the biggest issue for newbie. Twisted Meadows now next. There should be plenty of creeps to go around for at least level 2. Shishi and Shun spawning on the bottom of the map, and the newbie boy is at the top. And it seems that they're going back to their old. 1 to 0 is going for the Ted Fiend build, fast hero plus harass. This must mean Blade Master as well, I imagine. Yeah, this is the rock column creep. So he's going away from the TC first. That pains me a little bit. I love seeing TC first, but this is a super hard map to do it on. Like with the TC first, what can you really creep? This one. Maybe if fiends help you out, you can creep this one. But you're so far in the middle, everything's kind of exposed, everything feels dangerous. All right, I understand the Blade Master. I think it makes sense here. I guess especially with this creep, like, going for the early rock golem can be really rewarding. Again, looking for auras. That is always the motto in 2v2. And if they get devotion or flute, or for the early game, even scourge bone champs could be really good. There's a lot of good drops, basically. But what's 1 to 0 gonna do? He's gonna have to DK out early. And then he's gonna, uh, what, Skeleton Harass the Night Elf main? A player's force because Lin's gonna be attack. busy for a little while. Shun with the Fast Fiends. Far forward shop. I don't like that. That's a big no-no. Always coming in for the block, though. Can he do it? Is it messed up? Can Lin still get it? Oh, no, he doesn't. Well done. Simple little counterplay there by Shishi. A player's forces are under attack. Just forcing the Blade Master to go for the cancel, uh, to go for the kill. And nowadays, on this highest level, uh, basically everyone does this because everyone knows Orc top left is probably going to be a Rock Golem creep.
Keeper Hunts by Shishi again. And yeah, 1 to 0, he's just like harassing. He's looking to slow down Shun if he can. But honestly, he shouldn't be able to do too much. Is he really gonna go Acolyte hunting? In 1.31? Okay. Who's gonna get the last hit? If the keeper gets this, it would be hilarious. Oh, he doesn't. Ho oh, ho ho! That was really close, though. That was almost out of kill range for the Blade Master. Dude! That was super sketchy. But yeah, he gets the last hit and he gets the Scourge Bone Chimes! Oh, yeah! I know everyone loves pogging out to the Scourge Bone Chimes for Orcs. But in 2v2, it's like... It's not that amazing. A player's forces are under attack. Lionhorn would have been better. But early on, it's really nice. For early game skirmishes and stuff. Run to Zero, of course, gonna have the fast tech here with his Ted Fiend build. Oh, wow. 29 supply for Shun. Still no tech. Water Zero isn't getting any of the last hits, though. Forces are under attack. Keeper looking for the blade, but uh, has lost track of him for the time being. Water Zero may not be able to get too many last hits here, but he, oh, he does get that one. And he's slowing down Shun a decent amount. Huntress is everywhere. Sentinels being placed. For creeping also, by the way, this is really nice. Blade Master can tank a lot. And heals up decently. Here comes the tech finally for Shun, but yeah, this is uh, certainly far, far behind. That of 1 to 0. Lich coming. 1 to 0 now with his own decent fiend numbers. Where's the place? Looks like he missed the speed scroll on a lot of his grunts right there. So he loses one, but he got the camp. Okay, I missed a lot right there. <laughs> Sorry about that. 2v2 camera work. There's so many things going on. Shun with the rune bracers. Nah. Doesn't really have a frontline hero. Can make very good use of that. Probably gonna sell. Level 3 though for him. Very quickly. And 1-2-0. Sneaky, sneaky 1-2-0. We know how fond he's been lately of expanding. Seems to want to do that here as well. But very, very good scouting now. This is absolutely crucial. This is gonna force a TP. Probably. How many hunts do we have coming in? Five hunts. Yep, that's a TP. Fiend. It's gonna be close. Survives. Pendant of Energy for the DK. Very good item for him. So, 1 to 0. How stubborn are you? Is he really gonna try to expand again or is he gonna attack? Gonna do neither. Gonna go for another ziggurat. Ready to go to 50 soon. A player's forces are under attack. Good teamwork between the two. Fiends healing up with the heal sap, but the DK is so low mana. And Shun and Shishi are uh, gathering their forces here. Seeing the merchant creep away from the opponent. Still no aura for them, unfortunately. That's what they were hoping for. But DK, man, he's basically a little four. Oh! And there's an expansion down here. Another easy entangle kill right there. Ah, never mind, not that easy with a Lich coming in with a seven man Nova. Seven woman Nova. On the Huntresses. 1 0 on the Hunts. That one easily falls. Where is the Blade Master? Once again, is my question. Spirit Link, though, at this stage in the game, really good. Doesn't have it applied to all units, but dude. Is Lin actually saving all of his hurt units into the back? Where is the blade? 
Did he die? Am I stupid? No. Where is he? There he is! Blade Master finally coming in. Getting quite a bit more damage. And the aura. Double Pendant Shadowhunter, by the way. Hex, Hex. No Hex. Shun is very fast with his aura level 2. Expansion coming up by 1 to 0, but. Shishi looking to cancel. Might be expensive for him, though. And of course, the Unlet expansion is going to be much, much later. This one is about to start mining here for Shishi in just a moment. And more importantly than the mining time at which uh, mining begins, it's delaying the tech, right? Yeah, there's still no tech for 1 to 0. So, 1 to 0 is going to be without orb for a very long time. Which is, of course, a very, very big deal. Level 3, though, for the DK. Level 2 for the Lich. A player's force Once again, Shishi looking for the stragglers. Looking for pick-off kills. Shadowhunter solo creeping here as well. Is under siege. Oh! Wait a minute. Did he just kill this? Does Shishi just kill this? Lich is coming in with the Nova. Maybe the... No. Okay. Damage is not enough. Oh, Zeppelin drops into the undead base. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of fiends. Ah, there we go. Now he's got it. DK, Lich, and all the fiends. Is there a TP for 1 to 0? No, there isn't. Wow. This is so unusual. Extremely quick reactions by 1 to 0, though. Can Shun kill the Haunted? This is kind of a knockout kill move. That's a lot of damage. That's 1 0 fiends. That's a lot of fiends, though. Nova against the Acolytes. And the Zeppelin can come into play now as well. In the meantime, Keeper from the back. Dude, Shishi and Shun are playing this really, really well. DK for 1 to 0, getting focus as well. There is the web, though. Okay, web comes in. And this might be time now for Shun to get out of this. DK is still hurt, but no more mana for a Nova. This is costing so many resources, man. This is extremely expensive. Over here, what do we have? Keeper aiming for the expansion. That's not gonna work with Lin coming in for the defense. Double TP out. The Zeppelin almost crashed. But it does survive. But tier 3 is done for Shun. We have the Crypt Lord coming in as a third hero. And 1 to 0, man. This was so expensive. This cost him so much gold. Are under this is looking good for the underdogs. Shishi and Shun here. Can they finally get an aura? <laughs> no. Rune Bracer is number two. Seems like he wants to keep him. Shadow Hunter is level three with all that mana. Other heroes, though, for Nubi are not. Lich with plus ten intelligence, that's very strong. DK almost five. What the hell? We have seen so many high-level DKs today. And we're gonna see this one most certainly reaching level 5 as well. Blade level 3 here is okay. It's not that much. But I think this is mostly a move to distract for newbie. Like, without tier 3 done... Is 1 to 0 seriously gonna skip tier 3 for the entire game? No one's in upkeep yet, if I saw that right. Yeah. Shun is just attack. now going into upkeep. But he does have tier 3 advantage. Okay, they're just giving up the base. They can easily TP over here now, and that's a lot of Huntresses dying. What? Late TP out. Costs him only one Huntress, though. Okay. Not the end of the world. Ah, there's a new expansion here. Sorry, I didn't see that before. A 
player's town is under siege. Then would love to fight these hunters as 1v1. He should easily be able to win that fight. Twisted Metals, of course, the number one standout map for split pushes. One player attacks the one enemy, and the other player attacks the other one. Especially powerful if you are uh, with a strong standing army. Shun versus 1 2 0. This could once again be the duel to favor Shun, though. Yeah, absolutely. 60 supply. Tier 2 versus tier 3. And 1 2 0 can't even run away too easily with only level 1 aura. In the meantime, fight is happening down here. Great creep drag. I think Ultra Vision made this possible to come in here and do the damage. Two fiends die for 1 2 0. He really can't fight this. Lin has to win in the south and then TP back to his main to help 1 2 0 deal with Hune. Shadowhunter does have the TP. Reinforced defenses is done. Is under siege. I'm very surprised he's not TPing over there. Another fiend falls. That's basically three free fiend kills. Then he's still fighting against the hunters over here. TP comes in actually from Shun and now. Lin has to evacuate, loses one raider, only. Also a solution. Tier 3 finally coming in. Actually, it's almost done. Double crypt for mass fiend production. 1 to 0. He uh, is gonna copy the trick from Shun earlier, gonna drop into the main. Lin moving out as well. Has another TP, mana seat. pot, looking for the creep camber, it seems. But that is not there. TP home, TP out. Nothing's gonna die. No, no nothing's gonna die. Huntresses over at the expansion. It's a lot of hunts, by the way. Triple Sentinel. He wants to have all the vision. Bottom second again. Oh, nice TP surround onto the one huntress. Oh, that's their goal. The player's forces are under attack. What is there? No destroyers yet. Entangle still very strong. TP out. Oh, the keeper though. The keeper almost dies. <laughs> Lin just casually setting up a tower over here. And the Blade Master is going to cancel the Entangle. Blade Master has the Staff of Teleportation. Nice play by Lin, man. And Twisted Meadows, as so often, it becomes all about movement. It becomes all about attacks, distraction. And uh, a lot of time, a lot of times it's about buying time. For your expansion, for your tech, 1 to 0 now is tier 3. Does he have the orb? Yes, he does. Crypt Lord as well. Lich level 3. This should be a much closer fight. End Snares. Forcing an engagement. 3-0 on these fiends, by the way, for Shuen. But his ally, the Night Elf, isn't here yet. Good devour right there by the Lich. That fiend was lost anyways. And in we go! Blade Master saying hello as well. Impale the first one from 1-0. to zero. Not that great. The Grunt's having a tough time making it to the front line. So do the Huntresses. The Huntresses especially, man. Stuck behind everything. Going heavily on the blade, but with Invul, with Spirit Link, is that really the right call? Another Impale coming in. Treants to the side, here you can see the weakness of the Keeper in the late game, just easily getting dispelled. Level 4 now for the DK, everything suddenly becoming much faster. Huntresses finally have made it to the front line. That took forever, but here now they will try to hold their ground as much as they can. In the meantime, 3 old Fiends from the back firing away very heavily. Another Impale coming in was decent. 1 to 0 is going to have another one very soon as well. Destroyers dying very, very fast. Nubi not opting for any destroyers. I guess they don't need any since there's no spirit link for them to fight. Impale is ready. This could be a big one right there. Boom! Hitting four fiends and the lich. In the meantime, pot him in trouble. And will have to be sacrificed here perhaps. Info running out soon. TP out by Shun. And Nubi hold on. Hex coming in. This pot him certainly dead now. But they're looking for bigger kills, because the Keeper doesn't have a TP. We'll make it to the shop, though. Hex doesn't last quite long enough. Invul runs away. Where's the pot? 
Did she actually survive? <laughs> Lucky day for the bottom. Wasn't focused. Shadowhunter, still so much mana. What the hell? 700. I like the tank items from the Blade Master, by the way. He's oftentimes going to be the focus in front. Oh, the keeper! The keeper! One, two, three! Oh, heal scroll force already, though. That's a victory. Heal scroll just for the keeper. And now, with that one engagement, this expansion is certainly toast. One to zero. He actually got the kill? I'm sorry, guys. I don't think he was going to be able to. Um, there we go. There we go. Lin with the Saint Sword gets the kill. So he forced a heal scroll and still got the kill. Man, that must hurt. That must hurt. To be honest, though, Keeper doesn't do much at this stage in the game anymore. Anyways. It's all on Hewn. A lot of pressure now on the undead. He's gonna have to carry this game. A player's forces are under attack. We had choke position. Who's that better for? I don't know. Level four in the lich. Plus four intelligence, boys. What's supposed to stop him now? Oh, that's a big army by newbie though. That's a lot of army. But this is a great position now for Shishi and Tune. Super hard to, for Nubi to funnel through this. They're trying to get there little by little. Oh my god! That impale hit like half the army. And one fiend is gonna be taken out. We have barely any hunters left. It's only archers by now. Destroyers getting webbed. Destroyers getting one shot almost, it seems like. Getting off quite a few dispels against the Spirit Link as well, but it doesn't change the fact that they're gonna be taken out very, very quickly. 1 to 0 still only with statues. Crypto in trouble. Doesn't have a coil to heal him because there was a hex on the DK lasting forever. This level 2 hex. Once the destroyers were taken out, then comes in the hex. Perfect team play by the two newbie players in these destroyers, man. I don't know, Kev. They just seem pretty damn bad. But I guess you have to have something against Spirit Link. But every time they get sniped so quick. This game turned around by the newbie players exceptionally well. They were in a super tough spot this match. But they fight their way back. And now it's Blake Master having a field day. He's level 5. That's really rare to see in 2v2. He's gonna get a hero kill as well. Hex! Oh, nice stab. Saves the keeper. But it's just critical mass, guys. It's too much stuff. Shadow, is he level 5? Yes, he is. He's still got 300 mana. How does he still have so much mana? It's ridiculous. DK was around there for a second. He wiggled his way out. But Ensnare finds him. Everything here so fast. With a second Ensnare, he must be dead. Actually, it's the Lich to fall first. Coil doesn't find him. GG and 2-1 for 1-0 and lane.